EA Sports and the Web.com Tour proudly present opening round coverage of the Web.com Tour Championship. There's something about a well-hit shot. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. Frank, the players out here today really have the opportunity of a lifetime chance to earn a PGA Tour card at the end of this tournament. And that life-changing opportunity is certainly going to be on the line. All of these great golfers have put in the time uh, to get where they are right now, and they're just one step away. That's right, one step away, maybe this week, of earning a tour card. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. You can see why this player has been compared to a young Rory McIlroy. Featured golfer making birdie and now sitting comfortably inside that cut line. Always nice, Frank, to put the peg in the ground coming off a birdie. Well, this game's all about reward, and we just saw that back there. Now, can you be rewarded two holes in a row? He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Always two components to the long lag putt, the speed, number one, and then the read and missed out on that second part. That's a solid par, still in it, Frank. Frank, what do you make of the final hole here on the front side, the 583 yard par five ninth? It just depends on how much you want to risk here. If you hit a good drive down the right side, it's certainly gettable for two, but you can make an absolute mess here at nine. Nicely played shot, about 310 yards down the fairway. Okay, the second shot now at this par five. Frank, that ball sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Seems to like it. Hunted for the fat part of the green. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to save it for the rest of the round. Frank, this is a good position to be in for a player. Making birdies, making some moves. You're starting to get the momentum, too, for the finish. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side, but, Frank, we know... It's an 18-hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. <laughs> Looks to be a good setup going into the green here at the 10. Looking to keep it going here, Frank. Yeah, another example of uh, things just working as they should. Can't hide the flagstick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable. That that never deviated offline.
Frank Ty atop the leaderboard now. Uh, I think it's certainly starting to get everybody captivated. That was a nice birdie. Let's go to the 11th now. It's a par five and a fun hole, Frank. You can make uh, anything from three to seven here. And that's why, uh, as the start of the back nine, especially on a Sunday, this becomes such a pivotal hole to start a run. Big uh, body of sand down the left side uh, that sometimes the longer hitters can get close to with the tee shot, but really it's the second shot. If you can reach this par five and two, it's a very narrow green. The layup, well, it's actually an awkward layup, Rich, because you've got to push that ball to the left side, almost like a zigzag approach. Just a bit offline and into the bunker. Getting set for his third shot from the fairway bunker. What's the right way to play this, Frank? Well, you don't want to get the ball too far back in your stance. Gets too far back, then you mightn't carry the lip in front. Into the tall cabbage. That ball is swallowed up. And setting up here in the rough. Great shot out of the rough. He avoided all the troubles just to get that on the green. That was not an easy shot. He'll settle. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Knocks that putt in for par to stay at three under. So through one round, Frank, our leader really put on a good show today. They certainly did, Rich. It was truly a great performance, especially from Tita Green. It's not easy to come out of the gates like that. EA Sports and the Web.com Tour proudly present second round coverage of the Web.com Tour Championship. That's a good spot right there. Senate Cup. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. This shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Frank, this one's offline. There's rough and thick stuff over there. And it is not looking like a good lie. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Starting to make a nice move. Five under with that birdie for the tournament. Here now the 12th hole at the TPC Sawgrass. It's a 358 yard par four, so short on the card, Frank, but obviously a challenge. What's the key here? Once again, trying to find that right position on the fairway, and that's down the right side. Anything down the left, that mound is going to block your view. That's an absolute beauty. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Terrific golf shot. And now that for an easy birdie. Goes to six under par for the tournament. What a display of golf. And Frank, we always like when they have the whole location back left and that ball trickles down, feeds, and you can see some really good ones, and maybe even an ace here. Yeah, just like Mickelson a few years ago. Down there, it looked like it was gonna flirt with a bunker, ran up and over the over the ridge, and in it goes. 
This is one where you have to play ground ball as well as high ball. That will be a great look at birdie. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Count that for a birdie. Frank, historically in this great championship, 14 has proven to be a pivotal hole. Everybody focuses on the finish here, but you're absolutely right, Rich. This can be an absolute scorecard wrecker because if you spin your drive left, the drop back, perhaps on the ladies' tees, you can make six in a heartbeat. You try an air to the right, you can make six from the mounds. So a good drive down, here, down 14 gives you a chance for that fast finish. Frank, as players get set to make that next step, to graduate to the PGA Tour, what part of their game has to really be sharp? Well, nowadays, all the players are powerful, so you're looking for other things rather than straight power. And one of those things is adaptability. When you get out there on that first year on the PGA Tour, remember, you're going to be playing these venues for the very first time against people that have played it 10, 15 times, perhaps, so they have an advantage. So you're going to have to adapt very, very quickly and put the time in continues to amaze yet another birdie and what a day it's been now to the 15th and frank i know this is a hole that you really like yeah it gets no respect in my book which i think is a shame just a nice dog leg to the right and uh, really two good shots and a three here which is actually a rarity it sets you up for those closing three holes too often people just take 15 lightly and 15 has just a gentle nibble that turns into a bite and now it's right in his wheelhouse, good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. Well, we've heard about this talent for a long while now. Birdie putt and a chance to get just one step closer to earning that golden ticket. Chance to play the PGA Tour. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Just a couple of feet. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. There you have it. The second round is complete. Another solid effort put together, and it shows on the scorecard. And after two rounds, you really start to see uh, not only who's playing well, but who's consistent. EA Sports and the Web.com Tour proudly present third round coverage of the Web.com Tour Championship. Going for a little extra. Huge with a capital H. Moved it a long ways. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Appears to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a full melody now. Putting up some impressive numbers out here now, nine under for the tournament. Hole number 13 here at Sawgrass, tricky 181 yard par three. You don't have to hit directly at this flag. When that flag's at the back there, you can use the contours. When it's on the left, once again, you can use the ridge in the middle of the green. Matter of fact, one of the hardest hole locations is when it's in the front right, because that's when you have to be perfect. This hole really sets up well for the player. Birdie yesterday, and a chance for another one today. Everybody loves him. Birdie on the car. 
Frank Tiger certainly had his adventures here at 14. Well, we'll never forget that. Spun it left. Uh, in the end, was very, very lucky to get away with six. Uh, had it been seven, Garcia might have just caught him at the post. But he will, and we will, never forget 14. Frank challenging approach shot here at the 14th. Yeah, there's some subtle mounds in this green. Uh, one that comes in on the right, and then another one that starts to come in about two-thirds of the way down on that left side. Surely not. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to savor for the rest of the round. This hole's been good to him. Birdie yesterday, trying for another one today. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Frank, the 15th hole certainly has the respect of the professionals. But you're right. This is a positional hole where uh, just keep the ball down the left center. You can't go too far, though, because you'll get blocked out or you'll run out of fairway. From there, it's really about knowing where the flag is, what position on the screen, because this is another green that's not flat. If the second shot lands on the wrong portion of the green, it'll finish well away from the hole. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. That is a gorgeous shot inside of five feet. Settles in over the putt. Well done. Frank, in golf, there's nothing quite like the final round of a hotly contested championship, and this one could be a doozy. And there's nothing uh, quite like that leaderboard I'm looking at right now. We are going to have some amazing golf. This one is going to have to be won. EA Sports and the Web.com Tour proudly present final round coverage of the Web.com Tour Championship. Frank, 17 gets so much attention here at the TPC Sawgrass, but 13 par 3 is exciting in its own right. It is, and it's actually more difficult than 17. Uh, one of the reasons it's longer, um, and also the green here. 17 obviously has two, two sections in it, front and top. This has, uh, I don't think there's a flat piece on it. And every now and again, we watch a ball roll all over the screen and actually find the cup for the odd ace. See if he can get something going here. Two straight birdies. There you have it. Well done. Great ball. And through the years, Frank, it has gotten the best of the best, hasn't it? We've seen Tiger Woods hit it left. We've seen Vijay Singh hit it left. We've seen so many players in the water down the left. Conversely, many a championship's been lost by hitting the ball up in the mounds on the right. You take four here and run to 15? Uh, I would sprint. Well, this looks good. It certainly is. Frank, as we watch the Web.com Tour Finals, anyone in particular you think could be a breakout star, someone like a Keegan Bradley who jumped right out onto the PGA Tour and won the PGA Championship in his first ever start in a major? Well, this player that I'm looking at right now, yes, and I mean you out there, look at that. Uh, a prodigy since the age of two. A lot of people in the golf world have just been waiting for you to finally get to this point. And, um, well, time for me to watch, time for you to play. He got robbed, Frank. No, it's like kissing your mother-in-law. Has this to say par. Continues to hold that sizable lead on the rest of the field. 
Back to the TPC Sawgrass, the 15th hole. It's a par four as we make our way to this finishing stretch. And Frank, what's in store for the players here? Another one of those par fours around 450 yards. Uh, ideally hit it tee shot down the right side, keeping it away from that bunker. But that's a flat bunker down the right with no lip, so it's still not too bad. Biggest problem here is that green. So many undulations on this green. It's tough to take an extra club out of that lie, Rich, because it's always in the back of your mind. If you hit it properly, it's going to email the green. He gave that one everything he had, and he really gouged it, and still, it was short. <laughs> Nasty lie out of the rough. He did the right thing there, Frank. Well, Rich, it's been a disaster until this point, but there's an escape clause. If he can make bogey from here, that'll be some doing, something to be proud of. Would feel actually pretty good. Sometimes you see players walk off a hole with a little bounce in their step, even after a bogey, because they've had to work hard for it. Makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under for the round. That's a bogey, but still in the lead. Where we start to see shots in hand really valuable. You licking your chops here, Frank, as a player when you get to this tee box? Well, it's an opportunity. A four here certainly <laughs> makes the move better when you walk to 17 and then 18. So a four here is more than just making a birdie on a par five. Oh, I like that. And safely on the fairway. Once again, a good lie. That makes such a difference. Takes so many variables out of play. Frank, this one looks like it might have a postage stamp on it. Airmail City. Yeah, lick it. Send it. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Yeah. That's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Count that for Eagle. Frank, how early in the round are you thinking about the shot at 17? Well, when you're playing well, you're pushing it ahead. Maybe you don't think about it till 14 or 15. If you're struggling, you might be thinking it early as the fifth or the sixth hole. But put it this way, when you make the walk from 16 to 17, you are thinking of it every inch of the way. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. Frank, this game will drive you crazy. Yeah, you can do all so many things right, and then just something so simple, completely wrong. Good putt. Now to the final hole here at TPC Sawgrass, 462-yard par four. Frank, is this one of the toughest finishing holes in the sport? It is, because the simple reason you played 17 holes and the job isn't done yet. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. He has just hammered this drive here at the 18th, and now he is in a really good position to make a birdie here in the final hole. It should be pretty good right there on the safe side. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity to win the Web.com Tour Championship. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. So a tester from four feet. made it. Just a fantastic week of golf. Add that one to the win count. A lot of uh, great quality players out there and to come on top of that leaderboard is truly a great accomplishment.
EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the BioWare Classic. Into the thick stuff, that's a difficult lie. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Frank, not close, but from that lie, not bad. Oh, that's excellent, seriously, given the conditions, Rich. No, it's that sneaky distance. With that birdie, moving into the top 20 on the leaderboard. Resuming the action here at EA Sports, let's go out to the seventh hole and pick up with our featured golfer. Nothing noteworthy here in the first round, Frank, but still plenty of golf to be played. That's right, Rich. A little bit of a dry spell, but really not a lot of damage done. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Oh, yeah. Crucial eagle attempt on the way. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. <laughs> 
speed wasn't bad on that long putt, but the read wasn't very good. So coming off the birdie on the previous hole, a chance now for yet another one. And momentum oh. moves into the top 10 with that birdie. On to the eighth, it's a par three, 203 yards. What's going on here, Frank? Interesting par three, really. It, it, it looks anything other than a straightaway hole. That bunker short of this green gives you like an optical illusion. You think it's lapping up with the front of this green, but there's actually you know, sort of three or four yards before you get to the putting surface. Um, a little bit of a drop off behind this green and it narrows out the deeper the green gets. So uh, a tricky little par three. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. That is classy. We have a chance of going in. And getting ready for the putt. Nice par to remain at two under. <laughs> Frank, looking at this par five ninth hole, it's 621 yards. I need to make birdie here. What's the best way to go about it? Well, if you're a long hitter, then there's a chance you can reach this par five and two, Rich. But really, the best way to make birdie here, good tee shot, and then contemplate the layup. In between the first two bunkers is a nice section of fairway. And that's not going to leave you much in for that third shot to a green that's very receptive. So really, birdie can be made the hard way. Wedge and a putt. Tasty looking right there, Frank. Just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a line like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there. That is a beauty, a real beauty. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. In with that birdie, moving into the top five on the leaderboard. And we're starting to uh, notice the name. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side, but Frank, we know it's an 18-hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. <laughs> Certainly had enough power, just didn't have any touch. Getting set for another approach. Our featured golfer really looks dialed in at this point. Yeah, right now, this is a great feeling to have as a, as a golfer. Your swing's good, the timing, it's almost like it's just completely natural. You don't have to think. The swing is exactly where you want it to be. So really, you're just looking at the flag in front of you. certainly won't uh, hurt the cause. Still some time. Par 4, 11, 443 yards. What's the best strategy here, Frank? Somehow find the fairway, Rich. This is brutal. Miss it left or miss it right. But uh, it's Florida. Fairways are wide enough, soft enough. But um, a good tee shot still going to leave you a lengthy second. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is your green light special. Should be safely on deck. I mean, really, on top of his game right now, that was a splendid approach shot. This from about 10 feet. Very aggressive mode with that birdie now in second place. So that concludes round one. Frank, what's the mindset after this first day? Well, the important thing is uh, just try and play smart, get a feel for the golf course. That's what you try and do on the opening round. And now that the players have seen it, we should see some better scores tomorrow.
EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the BioWare Classic. We're off and running here, and let's take you down to the action at hole number one. Oh, he's winding this one up. Does he have the power? Fritz, that is annihilation of a golf ball. Absolutely love it. I mean, he just, just tore that thing to pieces. Good tee shot, good lie. And now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. Second shot coming up here at the par five. Third shot, looking for a good one. This is a good looking shot. Terrific golf shot. And now, that for an easy birdie. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. What a birdie. Now just a handful of players in contention. On to the second hole, par three of 225 yards. Good hole, Frank. It certainly is, and the two bunkers, one left and one right, they remind you where not to go, but they don't really encroach on the green. So stay with a positive attitude on that tee, and you'll find that green is plenty big enough. So on the putting surface, and taking a good look now at this birdie putt here at the second. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. So one shot closer to the lead with that birdie. The third hole here at the Wetlands is a par four, 460 yards. Frank, it appears to be a pretty straightforward tee shot. It is, and actually, Rich, when I was watching the web.com event here, uh, this is where I saw those young, talented players really take advantage of a hole like this, just ramrod straight. They teed it up and just ripped it down there, and these are the sort of holes they can often make three on. Bunkers sort of short left and right. Plenty of green to work with. A nice high-flying second shot will be well rewarded here. Hide the flag stick from that man. And now he has this for the birdie. They're very impressive and on the move right now. Wow, check this out, Frank. Par three fourth, 250 yards. This is a really cool hole. It is, you tee off and uh, that tee shot right across the swampland into a crescent-shaped green. And of course, it is protected by that bunker. That just cuts in. It doesn't give you very much depth on that middle line of the green. So if the pin's in the middle, that's when the hole plays its most difficult. Ooh, what a shot right there. Beautifully done. What a hole this is, Frank. Par 3, 4, 250 yards, and we're, we're teeing off right in front of the swamp there. You might see the odd alligator pop its head up. Um, when you look at this, if you want to play, you can sort of hit a little cut there, Rich, and then it'll work with that C-shaped green. It'll keep the tee shot away from the bunker that protects the middle, and uh, you never know, it might just sneak in a birdie. And safely on the fairway. Once again, a good lie. That makes such a difference. Takes so many variables out of play.
Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. That's an outstanding shot right there, and it sets up a really good look at birdie. Shouldn't be a problem here. That was a nice birdie, and no doubt he's feeling pretty good about his position on this leaderboard. A series of good holes in a row has got him to this point. Par 4 sixth here at the wetlands, 440 yards and water to deal with. Two choices here, Rich. Lay it up, short of the wetlands, or, well, chance it, brave enough, tee it up and flash it across the wetlands to just a mere short iron into this lengthy par 4. Second shot. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Just an excellent shot right there, about five feet away. Good chance. It's a very makeable putt here. He is currently five under for his round. Really starting to shine, moves to 10 under for the tournament. Well, Rich, two rounds in the books, and it's easy to see why the leaders are on top of that leaderboard. Excellent performance, but still a long ways to go in this tournament. EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the BioWare Classic. It was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Frank, you like his chances to walk away with a par here? Well, with a good shot, Rich, yeah, that's certainly on the cards in that. And um, and you think, you just ride a par down at the end of the end of the hole, don't tell anyone about it. It certainly won't affect the scorecard at the end of the day. So that's the goal right here. Well, just a little too much, Rich. I don't know if it was wind at his back, he didn't calculate it, but he's going to be left with a difficult chip shot here. Solid play, heart of the green. Just a couple of feet. That's a bad bogey at a bad time in the tournament. And you'd like to think it's just a slip on the controller. Good look now at the fifth hole here at the Wetlands. Par five, and it's a good one. 635 yards. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. Playing it point to point, fairway off the tee, fairway on the second shot, and now a really good angle to attack. Settles in, looking to knock it in tight. 
Frank, what's so compelling about rivalries in sports is that athletes need each other if they're going to go to great heights. Joe Frazier needed Muhammad Ali to solidify his legend. Jack Nicklaus probably needed Arnold Palmer to go to a place that he had not been. And I think that's true across the board as we look at rivalries in sports. I think it defines careers, Rich. Uh, it's not until those players retire that they realized how important it was to have that, that foe. You know, so often we're, we're living in the, presence, in the present like we are now with Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy. And it's not for years to come that we'll realize the sport wouldn't have been the same with one without the other. Did the job right there. On to the par four sixth here at the wetlands. And Frank, how does that water factor into the way you play this hole? It bisects this fairway beautifully, Rich. Uh, 233 yards to the run out on the first section of fairway. And that might be worth considering for the short hitters. To try and flash it across the narrowest part of those wetlands, 276 yards. And of course, the more horsepower you got, actually the easier this tee shot becomes. should be pretty good right there We're on the safe side that's well played now a good look at birdie he really likes this hole made birdie yesterday can he do it again today it's amazing doesn't matter how close it goes it's an extra shot that one will definitely hurt trying to stay steady make a par And he makes it for par. Here's another scoring opportunity. Frank, a par five. The seventh is just a shade under 600 yards. And it bends gently to the left, Rich. Longer hitters can obviously get home and nothing really to be worrying about with that second shot if you can reach. The wetlands are well to the right of this hole um, for the second shot. But uh, if you want to play to the three-shotter, then that's a very safe, conservative way and really shouldn't cause you any problems whatsoever. Right in the heart of the fairway, green light special. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. That is classy. Yeah, the chance of going in. Settles in over the putt. Good putt. On to the eighth. It's a par three, 203 yards. What's going on here, Frank? Interesting par three, really. It, it, it looks anything other than a straightaway hole. That bunker. Short of this green optical illusion, you think it's lapping up with the front of this green. It was actually you know, sort of three or four yards before you get to the putting surface. Um, a little bit of a drop off behind this green, and it narrows out the deeper the green gets. So, uh, a tricky little par three. Well done. So through 54 holes, a really good position inside the top five with one round to go. Yeah, and those handful of players that we're looking at, Rich, um, they certainly have looked the best players this week, uh, which makes tomorrow look like a real thriller.
EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the BioWare Classic. Final par five on the backside here at the wetlands, 590 yards. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. In this shot, he is on the fairway over 300 yards. Ready for his third shot, needs to hit this close. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. Birdie putt coming up, the par on this hole yesterday. Everybody loves him. Birdie on the car. 16th hole at the Wetlands is a par four, 455 yards. Once again, another reward for a straight tee shot, uh, but this green heavily guarded by sand. So good tee shot. Uh, anyway, this one, you're going to have to hit one of the better iron shots required at Wetlands. Good tee shot, good lie, and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. And this attempt will be from about 130 yards. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. And getting ready for the putt. Some good work right there. Birdie, one shot closer to the lead. Here we go at the 17th. It's a par three, and it takes one good strike. That's what you like about par threes of this length, Frank. 238 yards. Can't fake it here. You certainly can't, and that green just shapes uh, a little bit to the player's right, so the best shot to hit in here would be a little draw, and uh, that is also the avenue provided by those two bunkers, one short left and the other one back right. Second shot coming out of the rough here. And he's made it onto the green. No damage done. Made the par. Well, this is it, Frank. The 18th hole. And on paper, it looks like you can get this one. You can make a birdie because it's only 377 yards. You're exactly right, Rich. Just a nice drive. Doesn't even have to be a driver here. It's going to set you up a uh, really short iron wedge into this short par four. And um, I always like to finish on a birdie. I know you do too because a little walk to the clubhouse there on the left, maybe a hot dog or a hamburger. This is going to play a lot shorter. It is a steep hill down to the green. I mean, really, on top of his game right now. That was a splendid approach shot. Not a gimme, but well within his range. <laughs> that had to really hurt, Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his metal. So a tester from four feet. Nothing wrong with that par five. So another tournament in the books, Frank, and what'd you make of this one? 
quality venue once again, uh, Rich, the standards of standard of courses we're seeing is, is excellent and, and consequently it's enabling the players to really play some great golf. So I, I think uh, golf's the winner today. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Well, this one's sweet, Frank. Super. Good contact, good result. 1992, Captain Cool, Fred Couples, won by nine shots over Gene Sowers. And with that win, Frank, Freddie became the number one ranked player of the world. Yeah, those are the days for Freddie. It was just like sticking a key in the car. Give it a little turn, and he was off and running. Headed for the bunker. So the golf ball ends up in that first cut it's a little bit less than two inches you can see the golf ball should be able to get at it but may not be able to control the spin we'll see well that's what the great ones do from the rough they use their skill and their strength to get it out and get it close birdie to send him to one under on the leaderboard. If you're just joining us, let's take you out to our featured golfer at the fifth. Early in the round and playing reasonably well. Nothing great, but has certainly not given a whole lot of well. Yeah, actually, a good, good position to really springboard the round from here. Just a solid second shot right in the fairway. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. 
Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. Has it now sitting at two under par for the tournament. Frank, back in 1998, by any chance, do you remember exactly how many golf balls John Daly hit into the water at the sixth? It was half a dozen. Half a box of golf balls. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. <laughs> Superb shot. Well, that's, uh, that's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. Frank, how much does that birdie help the cause? Well, it doesn't look like much right now, Rich, just sneaking inside the top 20. But at the end of the day, that might be the one that turned the tide. Breathing a sigh of relief. You've made it through the par 5 without getting wet. Now you're at this par 3 7th, Frank. You've got to guarantee a carry at least 7 or 8 yards onto the screen because that's where that bunker is on that right. It cuts in 7 yards. Well, he gave us a demonstration today why he's one of the best in the sport. Every green hit regulation. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Moves into the top ten with that bird. Frank, how about the eighth par four, one of the more intriguing setups? Ideally, you want to just work your tee shot away from that bunker, but uh, this is one fairway you must hit because it's one of the toughest second shots on the golf course. Oh, that's fine. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Frank, mistake-free golf. You hope you can keep it together. Possibility of a very special round here. Yeah, the only, uh, the only real thing to worry about is, is not to get too far ahead of yourself. At the moment, the swing looks tremendous. And just keep the round ticking over one hole at a time. I know it sounds like a cliche, but right now, he's exactly where he wants to be. I mean, that's how the game is played, right there. Uh, he's just making it look so easy. That birdie coming up, formality. He's got to put it together right now, Frank. Join that trio at the top. That's the end of round one. We saw a lot of good golf out there today, Frank. And it was a bonus to uh, anyone that got off to a good start today. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. It's second round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Frank, the par 5-6, this is the signature hole here at Bay Hill. You've got to really pick a line here, Rich. There's a big pine tree down there on that line. 260 yards gets it to the fairway. 
How important, Frank, is the line off of this tee? Because if you hit it well, but you hit it a little too far left, you're probably going to be wet. You've got to know exactly how far you carry that driver. Otherwise, you've got no idea which line to take. Missed that one, and it is going towards the rough. You have to think he'll be happy with that, given that it looked like it was headed right for the rough. Yeah, it looked like that was the only place it was going to finish. But, um, well, <clears throat> it's a little bit unexplainable. Let's see what he does from here now. Lucky break. It's in the hole. Just a sensational shot right there. Well, after that beast of a par five with all the water, take a sigh of relief and you come to the par three seven. It still takes a good tee shot here though, Rich. Narrow entry, you know, green's 30 yards deep. You still really got to focus on hitting a good shot here. That's a bit offline in the rough. Second shot coming out of the rough here. This is a good looking shot. A sensational shot right there, Frank. Oh, you start beating your chest after a shot like that. That's the best we've seen into this hole today. Good work right there. They'll settle for par. Let's move on to the eighth, and Frank, what's ahead here? Big par four, just over 450 yards. Um, ideally, you want to get it down by that bunker where it's nice and flat, because that second shot, you, you know what's coming up. Just a good, solid tee shot right there, about 280 yards. Frank, no reason here to think we're going to see anything other than another good shot. Yeah, in a great flow, and uh, golf like this, it looks easy. Good clean contact and a nice result. And a chance for Birdie coming up. He really likes this hole. Made Birdie yesterday. Can he do it again today? So close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, couldn't hit that much better. Could use this. A putt for par. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Finishing up here on the front side at Bay Hill with a lengthy par form. What's the key, Frank? Well, the hole's relatively flat. Uh, oh, he's winding this one up. Does he have the power to... <laughs> Huge with the capital H. Moved it a long ways. Well, that sets up well for a chance at the green here at the ninth. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Oh, this is right at it. Had a birdie here yesterday in their close. Great opportunity for another one. These putts keep the round together. Really starting to shine. Moves to 10 under for the tournament. Just a superb performance on the front side. He's hoping to keep it going here on the back nine, Frank. The game is so much easier when you're swinging well, putts are going in. Really, you've just got to keep out of your own way. And he pays a price for that. Yeah, when you don't see the top of the ball in the rough, you know it's not sitting pretty. You need a bit of force to extract one out of there.
Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a full melody now. Great shot. Get the birdie. So all the scores have been posted for round number two, and look who is on top of the leaderboard, Frank. Yeah, with two very solid rounds of golf. Uh, the key right now, just stay out of your own way and keep it up. Uh, the pressure will start to build. We know that as you get closer to the end of this tournament. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Teeing it up here on the 12th, 574-yard par 5, Frank. Another one that's reachable, obviously long and straight. That rough down the right side, though, is normally very thick. Uh, avoid the two bunkers, lots of contours and undulations around the screen. Good tee shot, good lie, and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. Playing his second shot here at the par five. Tasty looking right there, Frank. Just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a lie like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there. Wow, and with that eagle, Frank, now only two shots back. And all of a sudden, put the name back into the mix just when we thought it might be too late. <laughs> Frank, this is an interesting hole. It's a par 4 13th, and it isn't necessarily a driver off the tee. What are the options? Yeah, you break it down, 250 off the tee leaves 120. There's nothing wrong with playing the hole that way. You get a little over ambitious here and uh, run out of fairway. That second shot over water. Whoa. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Terrific golf shot. And now that for an easy birdie. And this will be a five-foot putt here. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. And getting ready for the putt. It's a good par there, Rich. Frank, now to the 14th of par three, and how difficult is this hole? Once again, very narrow entry into the green, so ideally you want to fly the ball a little higher than normal, make it soft, make it land a little softer. There's a bunker over there. I think he's headed for it. Well, the tee shot has landed in the bunker. 
Well, bunker play is really about technique and feel. The two greatest ever are probably Gary Player and Seve Ballesteros. Seve actually was so good, he was so skilled, that he could open up a three iron, that's right, a three iron, on a short bunker shot from a green side bunker and splash it to a couple of feet as if he had just used a 60 degree sand wedge, amazing. That is a solid par putt right there. Frank, deep in the round at the 15th, you need to maybe make something happen. How difficult is that with such a huge dog leg here? Once again, make sure you know the distance to carry the bunker or run out. You've got to play to your strength. Well, those are good numbers right there. 3-2-0. 320 yards. Just crushed it in the fairway. Surely not. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Rich, that just adds insult to injury to the rest of the field. Another birdie, and the gap even wider. A sensational performance. And that wraps up the third round. Just one more to go before we crown our champion. Round. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm looking at my crystal ball, Rich, but uh, that champion uh, that we see tomorrow might be the one just sitting at the leaderboard uh, on top of it right now. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. And he's set up for his second shot here, looking to knock it on the green. Okay, good shot on the dance floor. Settles in over the putt. He'll take par and move on. At the 15th hole now at Bay Hill, this is a massive dogleg, Frank. Yeah, if you're a Bubba Watson type player and you can move the ball around, you can move it left to right, that'll certainly help the tee shot. If you're average Joe, though, just hit it down the left. It'll take your medicine. Playing it point to point, fairway off the tee, fairway on the second shot, and now a really good angle to attack. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. That's good stuff right there. Wonderful approach, and now a really good look at birdie. Par yesterday, now for birdie.
with that birdie, moves one shot closer to the lead. The Bay Hill Club and Lodge features a really exciting finishing stretch. 16 is a reachable par 5. You'll see eagles and birdies there coming home. 17, a very difficult par 3 over the water. The bunker is there. Takes an excellent shot. And that 18 is all you want. We know that with the water in front. That second shot, which comes over the lake. And that's a hold your breath moment. It is a great finishing three hole stretch at Bay Hill. Well, with a good shot here, Rich. But, uh, this eagle on the cards, hole very reachable from where he is. Don't get many opportunities like this. This is a good place to take advantage. This one doesn't look good. There's water over there. Lost that one, out of bounds, and that is a costly stroke. Now, this will be counted as the fourth shot after going OB on that previous shot. Good thing he stayed in the first cut, because just a couple of feet over, that rough is really deep. Good putt. Frank, par 317. Daunting shot. What are you thinking as you step onto this tee? Just make three. Two is a huge bonus. Take three in a heartbeat. Oh, this is straight at it. It's a really good line. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for, uh, for Birdie, but um, really... It was a, a rather poor approach shot. Speed wasn't bad on that long putt, but the read wasn't very good. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. Nothing wrong with that par putt. Frank, this is a stout finishing hole, the 18th, isn't it? Yeah, it finishes that great run of 16, 17, and 18, and so many times we've seen disaster and triumph just on those final three holes. That's an absolute tracer right there. In the fairway, and well over 320 yards. Should be safely on deck. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Made par yesterday. This one for birdie. And no problems there. It yeah, keeps the round going, keeps the momentum on his side. So that concludes the final round here at this spectacular setting. Frank, uh, final thoughts on the tournament. Rich, I thought this was really a fantastic venue that challenged the players, and we saw some exciting golf out there all across the board.
TV to That's me when I win this thing. <laughs> EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the International Challenge. And we pick up action at the fourth. Early in the round, still holding steady, even par on the day. Yeah, it's got that feel it could go either way here. Next few holes will probably tell us which way. Well, he really moved that one. 320 yards and in the fairway. Second shot. into the thick stuff, that's a difficult lie. Just trying to make clean contact from the rough. Pretty try up next. Even par, currently. So into the top 15 on the leaderboard with that birdie. A few more, and who knows, maybe top 10 or top 5. Good spot to be in, fresh off a birdie. Yeah, all of a sudden you start to feel like you've got the game in hand. Can't hide the flag stick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable. That that never deviated off line. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. You can see why this player has been compared to a young Rory McIlroy, featured golfer making birdie and now sitting comfortably inside that cut line. Now to the 601-yard behemoth, par five, sixth hole, and you can pay the... Oh, he's winding this one up. Does he have the power? To... Wow. John Daly, take a back seat, big fella. How about that drive? Is it stopped yet? It's still going. <laughs> great line. What a great shot. He has really hit it a long way. And from the fairway for his second shot here. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Frank getting set for this approach shot. Our featured golfer is a player, it's obvious, in full flight right now. It is. This is where it doesn't matter what the sport is, and, and golf is a great example for it, though, where when you play your best, it's almost like you're just playing out of your subconscious. Everything happens, it just flows, and you don't really think about it. Really? This is an awkward length.
nice birdie to move to the under par for the tournament. Frank, we're moving inland now, and what are we facing here at this par four seventh hole? Just a dog leg to the right, uh, ideally just a little cut off the tee. Oh, I like that. Well, this looks good. It certainly is. Frank putting it all together today. What a nice performance. It's been like a clinic so far. Well, that is a heat-seeking missile. Look out. 325 yards and in the fairway. This is a good-looking shot. That will be a great look at birdie. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Wow, I thought he made that. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knock it in for a par and let's forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect, but it's gonna hurt the course. Frank, how does that par help his cause? It certainly doesn't hurt it. There you have it, Frank. First round is complete. What are your thoughts, partner? Rich, I think anyone inside the, the current top ten of that leaderboard is certainly well-placed to go on and uh, take this championship. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the International Challenge. Frank, they call the 11th hole here at Royal Troon Railway. Maybe I'm being negative, but, but I think it should be called course because that's all I can see on this opening shot. Gorse certainly comes into play right and left. Uh, problem is in bunkers here at 490 yards often it plays back into the breeze good tee shot good lie and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Par yesterday. Now for birdie. Well, that's all you want right there. Just lag it down. Don't get too crazy. And now just to tap in left. Settles in over the putt. Good par. Back here at the 12th, and this is a hole that heads back towards the water. You might not see your tee shot land over the ridge in the middle of the fairway here, Frank, so 
What's the best strategy? A fox, and you have to be cunning like a fox here. This one has a slight bend to the right. And uh, a little like the previous hole, this is another fairway that certainly requires your best tee shot. Rich, there's rough and rough. That ball is needle nose down. Can't even see it from here. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. Booty try up next. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Always two components to the long lag putt, the speed, number one, and then the read. And missed out on that second part. Well, Frank, he'll drop at least one shot here. That was uh, not his best effort. No, uh, poor is the easiest way to put that. He knows it. Frank, this has been an absolute mess today and all week long. You said it best. Frank beginning to head towards home. This is the 13th of par four. Another dog leg right. Uh, problem isn't really the tee shot here, even though there's undulations and mounds all over the fairway. Second shot's played uphill to an elevated green. That's a good spot right there. In a cut. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a formality now. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. Putt for birdie. Starting to move on this leaderboard now, Frank. It's got a nice look to it. Another who's who. Frank, what kind of par three is the 14th here? You can get sucked in here. Just 180 yards, which isn't considered that long. But if you look too much at the front of the green, you're going to see that's where the protection is. Here's to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. What a nice shot, right on the green, and a pretty easy putt on the way. Back-to-back -back birdies, we'll see. Just singes the edge, Frank. Yeah, but at least he's burning the edges. You know you're hitting good putts. Even par, currently. Has his par. Two rounds in the books, Frank, and a good spot from which to make a move. Yeah, well positioned. Uh, really, you know, if you're leading, it's a different pressure. Being in the chaser pack there, playing well, what a great position to go into with two rounds to go.
EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the International Challenge. Frank, you come to an Open Championship and you expect to hear the term gorse. You see it here on the 11th hole. If you do end up in the gorse, what can you possibly do to get out? <laughs> well, anything you can. A lot of the times it's, a, it's an unplayable lie, but if you remember back 2004, Ernie Els tried to play a ball when it was suspended about three feet off the ground and managed to flick it out of the sort of the, uh, the thorny gorse. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is your green light special. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. And now we'll have this for birdie. Made par yesterday, this one for birdie. Frank, he took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with a... Now in the top 25 after the par. Back here on the bonny shores of Scotland at Royal Troon Golf Club with just a wee breeze, as they say over here, Frank. On the tee at the 12th. A yeah, hole that bends to the right, uh, gorse right and left. There's a bit of a mound and rough down the right side that has to be avoided. Well, those are good numbers right there. 3-2-0, 320 yards. Just crushed it in the fairway. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. Solid play, heart of the green. Has this one for par. Frank, you can see by the reaction. It has been that kind of week, just a few too many pars. Frank, break down the par 4 13 for us. Another par 4 that bends to the right. Uh, lots of undulation on this fairway. This is the first of six straight holes that head in the direction of the clubhouse. Just a solid second shot right in the fairway. Let's see what they do from a good line in the fairway, 180 yards to go. Oh, this is straight at it. It's a really good line. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Little redemption chance here had bogey yesterday. Frank, how much does that birdie help the cause? Well, it doesn't look like much right now, Rich, just sneaking inside the top 20. But at the end of the day, that might be the one that turned the tide. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Well, that's how you play the game right there. You knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. He really likes this hole. Made birdie yesterday. Can he do it again today? Wow, what a birdie. Now at the 15th at Royal Troon Golf Club, 483 yard par. Frank is one of the hardest holes in the course. It's certainly a stout par four at that distance. Um, if you're playing it into a head breeze, then 260 yards is certainly gonna be a big tee shot. But 260 yards takes all the bunkers out of play. 
Good tee shot right in the fairway and plenty long. This will require a good one. This is a 190 yard second shot. Superb shot. Well, it's, uh, it's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. That shot falls. We're a birdie. Final round coverage comes your way tomorrow for our entire crew. I'm Rich Lerner saying thanks for being with us on EA Sports and so long for now. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the International Challenge. Good strike, good lie. Good chance to attack the pin. Second shot, good look at the green. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. That's a nice approach shot. It's about 15 feet away. A good chance for a birdie. Birdie try again here today. Hit it. Could use this, a putt for par. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. On the tee here at 14, it's another par three, Frank. You don't get caught looking at the front of the green. That's where it's at, at its most narrow. Ideally, something that pitches just into the top of that mound. Frank, it hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. Yeah, it, uh, you, you wonder what he was thinking on that second shot. And he's made it onto the green now. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Tough game, Frank. You can hit 300-yard drives and miss three-foot putts. Yeah, there's the ecstasy, and that's the agony. And getting ready for the putt. Too bad, he gives one back.
At the 15th, this par four is over 480 yards. The key here really is the three bunkers, two on the left. Oh, he's winding this one up. Does he have the power to... That ball just took off the face. Frank, I know you like boxing. That was some heavyweight power right there. Smoked it. But that is a heat-seeking missile. Look out. 325 yards and in the fairway.